Yesterday we got some interesting news about a couple of changes regarding the reworked striker, the pickers holster as well as the drop rates of exotic items. So let's get right into it. First of all, after phase 2 of the PTS for title date 16, a lot of players complained about how hard it was to use striker and to maintain more than 100 stacks. Losing 5 stacks per second above 150 stacks pretty much meant that you would be able to maintain max stacks only under very specific conditions and actually after trying really really hard. An example of those conditions would be legendary missions with the bands of Tsanga, so for example District Union, and a weapon with high rate of fire, high magazine or very fast reload speed, so for example the Bullet King which never needs to be reloaded was an excellent choice. However. Most ARs, most SMGs would have a very hard time maintaining high stacks. So the developers decided to make things a little bit easier. So now players will lose 3 stacks per second between 101 stacks and 200 stacks. Striker offers a crazy amount of damage increase at 200 stacks and with this change it seems like it will be pretty easy to maintain those high stacks. So I'm interested to see if the devs will allow something that powerful to exist for longer than a couple of weeks. My personal guess is that after the patch goes live, after title update 16 releases, season 10 arrives, call it however you like, and people start using out the striker, the new striker will realize what I've been saying pretty much ever since uh, the striker got reworked in the, place, in the first place, ever since phase 2 came out, that even though the strikes are really hard to maintain, are actually super rewarding and at around 100 stacks you have pretty much the same damage you had with the old striker so it's not like you're losing damage or anything like that just the extra damage is really hard to maintain and now with only losing three stacks per second i think most people will be able to maintain them and this will be the new red meta for sure Moving on to Picker's holster, a few videos back I dedicated an entire video for this holster simply because it has the potential to change the hybrid meta. When it first came out it had a core attribute of either plus 1 skill tier or armor and 3 more attributes, one of them being plus 20% weapon damage. It got reworked during phase 2 of the PTS and it offered 20% weapon damage as its core attribute and two more normal attributes. Obviously that wasn't a good rework by the developers because nobody would use it. It was pretty much a Walker Harris piece. However, as I've said plenty of times in my previous videos, the developers ever since they came back to support the game, they're actually listening to the community feedback and they're trying to actually make this game more fun for the players and better overall. So the Picker's holster got changed once again. The way it is right now, Picker's Holster will come with a blue core attributes with, which can be changed to either a yellow or a red core attribute, meaning either plus 1 skill tier or plus 15% weapon damage, a perfect attribute of plus 15% weapon damage as well as a normal attribute and that seems like it's going to be the version of Picker's Holster that we're going to get on the live game. So obviously this is... A nice rework, they reduced the perfect attribute from 20% to 15%. They also removed the amount of attributes that the item will have compared to the first version of the Picker's Holster. So instead of three attributes, including the perfect roll of 20% weapon damage, now we have two attributes, including the perfect core of 15% weapon damage. And of course, we're going to also have one core attribute, which now can be whatever we like. So this piece over here has the potential to offer you 30% weapon damage, which is pretty pretty nice. These changes make Picker's Holster a meta piece and a must have piece, especially for hybrid and skill builds, so you can expect quite a few builds with Picker's Holster on this channel. Next thing I want to talk about is this picture right over here. This chart shows the chances of exotic items dropping pretty much from every activity in the game. With Hello Day 16 or with Season 10, exotics will be dropping from open world NPCs as well as inside the Dark Zone. Dark Zone until now dropped only exotics that were exclusive to the Dark Zone. That's about change. You can already see that the Dark Zone has the highest chance of dropping an exotic with 0.072%. The second best place with the highest chance to drop an exotic is of course the Legendary Strongholds with 0.036% chance and below that are the Summit Floors 80-100 to 100 with a 0.032% chance. 
Dark Zone having the highest chances of exotics dropping, I think it shows the developers intentions to give players a reason to enter the Dark Zone. However, I don't think that a high exotic drop rate will be enough for most PvE players. As a strictly PvE player myself, what keeps me outside the Dark Zone, but the fact that the Dark Zones are so small in Division 2 that there is close to zero chance of me surviving in case a rogue player decides to kill me. In Division 1 with the bigger Dark Zones, I could at least try to escape. Here, even if I manage to escape, as soon as I call for an extraction, the rogue players have plenty of time to get to me. Dark Zones are so small that no matter where they are, they still have enough time to come and get me before I'm able to extract my items. So in my opinion, as a PvE player, if they want PvE players to actually go back to the Dark Zone, like Division 1 was, they will need to do better than just increasing the exotic drop rate. Because what's the point of having a higher drop rate if the chances are that I won't be able to extract it anyways. Those were pretty much the changes I want to talk to you guys about. Very good stuff in my opinion and definitely towards the right direction. Let me know what you guys think about these changes. Leave a comment down below and make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye.